In this video, we are going to learn how can set up or how we need to set up a VR project for Quest 2. So first, we are using uh, Reality 5.1, and then we need to just select the uh, virtual reality template. And if you want, you can add a starter content, and let's give it name that VR Test 5.1. Uh, we can write 5.1. Uh, yeah, we can write that 5.1. Okay, simple create. Now we need to do some setup in project setting. Okay, so in this video we'll totally learn how we need to set up the project for our phase two. Okay, once you create a project, it will be can be shader compiled more than one thousand six hundred. And once all the shader compiled on, you find something like this a template. Now we all know how we need to use this template on etc. etc. Now let's jump into the project settings. So just go to edit and project settings. And now. First, you need to scroll down, and at here you find the quest of VR, or you find a quest two. So you find also the OpenX input, and here if you scroll down, there's an option should be called quest, or even you can find on Android setting. Uh, first, let's set up the Android. That you need to go to Android SDK and make sure that you set up your SDK and then you need to go to android for play my game you can check my google store account and you can follow me on my facebook page also you can visit our website for get more information and if you have personal project or if you have some work you can gmail me at my gmail address also like share and subscribe and support me if you want my paid course you can check in udemy link in the description and now actually you need to just play some config and the quest 2 is pretty similar like the android apk so i basically create need to create apk so for that we need to set up the android sdk first uh, and also let's first set up the com dot package name uh let's write com dot uh, vr test uh test uh, sd and then you can put your application name let's give it name vr test and then for the API level, I'm going to use the 21 and the 100 SD is 30. And then make sure that APK game data inside of APK. Yep, it's true. And then uh, by default, they give you a uh, preset of keys true because some of cases need that's why. Uh, so, uh, if you want, you can skip this part so you don't need to do. But if you have your own key, so you can put that. And then let's go to then the second what you need to do is basically go to the render target so you need to go find the render and at the render what you need to do uh first at here make sure that your mobile shading is a uh, on forward shading and by default you need to also keep it mind that that by default the hdr of mobile is disabled so you can't use lots of stuff like uh, decal and anti-analyzing and then uh, the post process like the field so you can't use that so if you want you need to enable the mobile hdr and then let's see why is our quest 2 there should be option for quest why is that uh search request request and there should be this uh, open but if you don't find you can go to plugins and search that VR and just check here that what is basically enabled so as you can see are uh, the open marketplaces uh, so if you want you can uh, enable the quest of uh, VR occlusion and also we must need it for our VR development that's why so simply click on restart and now just wait some time to restart this stuff and so it's some time to set up a plugin okay once this plugin is ready now we need to go to edit then project settings and scroll down and here we found our quest.br now add here on color space you need to set your uh quest uh that we are too if you have a rift as uh, so you can uh, select that even p3 you can choose that also uh but in my case i'm using quest so i just select the quest and then at here that is enough at here you don't need to do anything else for now at here our VR project is ready to rock and roll so if you want now for the export guide what you need to do you can do one more step go to edit and project settings and go to an, a windows and at here you can choose that latex 12 to default 
and then the compiler version if you have 2019 you can choose that but if you have 2022 you can choose that too but in my case i'm using 2022 and give a simple restart now our project is totally 100% ready for vr so now we can easily export yeah some of cases it can be shader compiled so just wait for compiling the shader once it's done let me show you So once you turn the shader compile, you, if you press now in platform, now you find the Android icon something like this and now you can export your game for Android ESTC and if you, even if you want you can set up the debugging mode and also in developing mode. And also a small thing you can do at here just select your player start location and scroll down up or just you know, a little bit up and then it will be ok now it's ready to rock and roll and just make the apk and then just install and enjoy in vr for play my game you can check my google play store account and you can follow me on my facebook page also you can visit our website for get more information and if you have personal project or if you have some work you can gmail me at my gmail address also like share and subscribe and support me if you want my paid course you can check in udemy link in the description